This is the Hay Bike Ranger, which is an electric bike. And that's the golf cart uh, adapter from Divnik. Links for everything below, so be sure to check all that out. I tested one of these at the PGA show back in uh, January earlier this year. But now is the time where we put it to the ultimate test to see if it's really worth it on the golf course. You have to be super careful cutting the little ties because there's some wires that go to the bike that look almost identical to the zip ties. Almost ruined it right out of the game. But we're good. Good news, in the box comes pedals, directions, and your tools that you need to put it together. Plus this little surprise, your charger. You'll need that. Let's see what the directions have to say. Warning, step one. Do not remove bike from box until app. Nah, just kidding. <laughs> I need to see the little bit lower than normal. This comes about, I don't know, 90% put together in the box. So all you really have to do is put the front wheel on and the pedals and the front light bulb. That's really about it. And then just adjust where the handlebars are straight. It's pretty clear with the direction, so no problem there. Now, if you wanna use it on the golf course, you're going to need a golf uh, rack. So we have to install this bad boy. Okay, when you're attaching the bracket to the rack, look, you gotta go on Divinix's website and find the directions for this because it's a little tricky and we're gonna try to do it here. You know me. I'm 50-50 that I'll get this right. Good news is hopefully yeah, we only have to do that one time. Whew. Great news. I am an expert at putting the uh, golf rack on this thing because I've had to do it three times now. So. Here's the deal. First time, uh, it didn't line up with the bumper, okay? It didn't line up, so I had to adjust this. Second time, it lined up, but my kickstand wouldn't go all the way up because the bumper was straight up and down. You have to angle it like this, okay? So that, make sure your kickstand goes up with the bumper on there. Do that first. Not third, like me. Now, when you put this on, okay, it'll hit the bumper and protect it from hitting against your bike. Typical of me, third time's a charm. All right, this thing is straight up just bad to the bone. Look at this. I love, I mean, it looks, I got a black bag, so that looks pretty sick. And here's how this works. Like the bag stand is your kickstand. So this would be here. You don't need that on the golf course. This pivots out and your bag holds up the bike like that. And that's, I mean, that puppy's not going anywhere. And then that hits that bumper when you ride off, right? You throw it down, it hits that bumper that we had so many problems with. The reason this is supposedly the best bike for golf is because one is this low entry point here, right? You can just easily uh, get in. You don't have to lift your leg too high, so that's good. Two, obviously it's easy to put the stand on here. It's got the heavy duty rack for the bag stand, so that's awesome. And then if there's any question, you still have the kick stand here. Just flop that down and you're good. You can go either way. Maybe you just want to kickstand it. It's pedal assist, so you can adjust how much pedal you use versus how much motor the bike uses. You can use all motor or all pedal, go either way you want, depending on how much effort you really want to put into your golf day. The battery's still charging, so once that's ready to go, then we'll see how easy this thing is to get in the car and transport it 
to the course because that's I would imagine is going to be the biggest hurdle. That's easy. All right, uh, here's what we're going to do. This is cool. In case you just want to cruise around the neighborhood. All right, we're jamming. This is the bike. I've got it on level three power assist. <laughs> this thing is pretty, pretty dope. I've got a little bit of pedal action, but mostly I'm, I'm using the, uh, the throttle. Man, it's fast. It's got some giddy up in it. Be careful I don't crash. I love the fact that you can easily take your clubs on and off. There's not some big hoopla that you have to roll through. Take them off, cruise around the neighborhood. Fat tires, disc brakes, front and rear, alloy rims, front headlight. It's got a rear headlight. It's like totally like street legal. All right, we're doing uh, 12 miles an hour. That's it. 15, 15 miles an hour. I'm going up a hill, so 15. I don't like it. You could pedal though. Get a little exercise. Love it. You cannot pedal. I feel like Casey Neistat all of a sudden, but with the bike. Ooh, almost crashed. Is this my new jam? That's all I'm wondering, out on the golf course. Well, I wonder if I could set a course record in terms of speed. Maybe. I mean, those guys run, that run, they're, fa they're faster than me on a bike, I'll tell you that. I don't know if I'm more impressed with the bike or the fact that I put this together in my, well, it was mostly together. So that's probably the big, the big deal, but I did put a lot of it together and uh, it hasn't fallen apart yet. All right, it's a uh, road tested approved. Now uh, there's, there's really only one thing left and that's what we're all here for actually. Now is the uh, moment of truce here. Let's see if we can break this bad boy down and get it in there. That was like way easier than I thought it would be. It's heavy, but it's not like as awkward as I thought it would be. Let's see how easy this part is. What'd that take me? 15 seconds? I don't know if this is faster than a golf cart, but it's certainly single rider, so that's gonna that's gonna be the way to go for sure. Woo! Do like 20. <laughs> this thing is moving. People just come up with a cool way to golf. I'm telling you right now. If every course had one of these puppies, woo! <laughs> this game would be for real, baby. Hey, golf courses, you want to grow the game? Get these on there for rent. People come out just to ride a dang bike. I don't know if it's more fun to play golf or just drive around on the golf course with this thing. All right, going up one of the steepest hills on the golf course right now. And uh, got to give it a little pedal but not a, not a big deal at all. We're good. See, when you're having fun, you just hit better shots. That's just the way it is. Think about this. This is how quick you would get to your ball each player. Well, that was a 200 and maybe 40 yard five wood, which I don't normally hit it that far, but when you're fresh and feeling good, then you hit it good. 
All right, up and down for birdie, unless I chip it in for eagle. We'll see what happens. You show up to the course with one of these bad doggies, I'm telling you, you're gonna turn some heads in a good way. It's a wrap on this bad hog. Hey, bike ranger. Divinick Golf Rack. Thanks for watching. Love you guys. See you soon.